Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. By way of a YouTube comment, uh, this question was asked by Bharat Kumar Gupta, who does apologize because uh, he says uh, that he's not a native English speaker. The old days when technology wasn't this advanced, what were the main difficulties or challenges that came before? And this is a question you could ask me five years from now or 10 years from now, and I would have a different response. We have challenges today. Uh, we had challenges five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago. But in terms uh, of where technology is today, in the state it happens to be, the dramatic differences between now and then with technology uh, didn't boil down you know, as much, I think, to computing power. Some people might argue that, well, faster CPUs, it used to be, they used to be slower. Well, duh. I think the biggest transformation uh, with uh, technology uh, that didn't used to be in place when we talked about technology, we, me, when I grew up, uh, was this idea of connectedness and communication. When, you know, I had a computer growing up, you, you could do something with it, but it, you were there. Like, I couldn't get online. There was no online. Um, you, you didn't even think it. You, you, you thought you know, it'd be awesome to be able to do something like that, but that just wasn't possible. You'd, you'd have to go to the store uh, to get any kind of new software. And good luck if you ever wanted to install an update to the software. I mean, it just didn't exist. I mean, certainly you could do it, but it just wasn't easy. So when the internet came along, suddenly we connected and we communicated. And that communication and connectedness connected us to information in each other. And I've talked about, or I really, I guess I've talked around this, the biggest challenge to technology before the advent of the internet was communication. Uh, communicating ideas, uh, communicating, uh, you know, to or with one another. Uh, this didn't start with the social media wave. Got easier to do with uh, shared services like Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Google Plus, and even MySpace or Friendster at the time, uh, you know, these shared platforms. We could coalesce around individual communities or sub-communities. That's how uh, Lockernome started back in 1996. Uh, but that wasn't a hurdle to communicate online. You could send an email to somebody and you could possibly get a response. That was something that didn't really uh, exist up until, I would say, recently in human history. That's, uh, I think, widely adopted 1997, 98, you know, certainly you could say 1995, but I'm, I remember Windows 95 didn't come, it didn't even come with a web browser, the first uh, version of Windows 95. Uh, you could get, I think, the Plus Pack, I think, came with Internet Explorer 1.0, if I'm not mistaken. You would have to buy Netscape uh, in the store for 50 bucks, or you could download it for free. That's something they didn't really tell you. 50 bucks for a web browser, and people bought it. Um, you know, we're advancing at breakneck speed, but the biggest advancement in technology has been in connecting us, you know, and now it's just, it's getting easier. It's getting faster. Uh, it's, it's fun, but it's also functional. Uh, yes, you can think about all these dramatic changes, but nothing, nothing more dramatic, uh, than taking this world and making it so incredibly small. And there's so much to be said about tearing down barriers and realizing that we have very similar thoughts. That's something that we couldn't do at a scalable level until that point. Back then, we, you, you wanted to talk to somebody, you picked up the phone and you dialed it. You physically dialed the phone. You needed to know information. You had to have the latest information in a book or you could call an operator. Remember those? You call the operator to get information. You, you just, and if you just now started, if you're born in the age of the internet, you 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 have no idea. Imagine being, it's kind of like being on a plane. You're cut off. That's exactly what it was like. You're cut off. So taking that cut off out of the equation is exactly, uh, I, I think, the, the biggest difficulty or the the biggest challenge that had to be overcome. And uh, my perspective, I lived through it. 
you could ask, ask me this question again five years from now, ten years from now, and we will have overcome another hurdle. I don't know what that hurdle is going to be. Uh, it could very well be the digital divide. Uh, the biggest hurdle, next hurdle, may be getting everybody uh, equal access to the internet as you know at equal speeds. I can't do that. Uh, we can't do that right now because and I'm saying I can't do that in my neighborhood. I can't get fiber. So Comcast has made political deals with local cities to keep competition out. They're very anti-competitive. This is one of the reasons why Comcast has gotten away with what I would argue is an absolutely illegal data cap. They're stifling innovation, and the reason why Comcast is likely doing it is because think about it. Everybody's got a video service these days. Hulu, Netflix, Amazon, Xbox 360, or Microsoft just announced an array of services that you need to push them down the pike. Data, right? Takes up bandwidth. Comcast can kick you off of the internet for a year, and they can get away with it because there's no competition. So the next hurdle may very well be, well, I'm not saying Comcast should be kicked out of business. I, I don't think, I would never, well, okay, maybe I would wish that. I just want competition. And right now there is no uh, competition in uh, the internet access space, uh, at least in the United States, and I think Canada as well, and possibly in, in the UK. Uh, that may very well be our, our next challenge, our next hurdle. But I'm curious to know what you think. Uh, number one, what, what the biggest hurdle had been, if you agree or disagree with me with the communication, and, and what you think our current hurdle is in terms of technology and uh, you know, being this advanced as we are, still have to still have a long way to go. So now you have my answer. What about yours? We'll see you later.